What's going on everybody? It is Prem here and welcome back to day 23 of Growth Every Day. Welcome back to the channel guys. We've got the workout up on the screen. We're back with my push day. Got the back squat and the bench press. And since it is Monday, yes, I did go up 5 pounds on each of these lifts. You know my plan, going up 5 pounds every week until we can't do that anymore. And I really hit my limit. Here you can see me. I'm actually, today was the first day I decided to, well I did my jump ropes and my internal tibial rotation drills. Just didn't film it today. Probably not going to film those anymore just because it's the same thing over and over again. Um, but I did film that set of hops because those were max level hops and I'm weighing about 208 pounds right now. And those were feeling pretty springy. My Achilles is feeling pretty good. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how those are going, especially, you know, I'm confident that once I'm down weight, I will be flying through the air. Um, but yeah, I put on five pounds on the squat. I did not get the greatest amount of sleep last night. 245 went pretty, pretty, pretty good today considering that. Um, like I said, sleep is a big component of what goes into your training. So the fact that I didn't have the greatest sleep today, but I still had a good session was good to me. And tonight I'm definitely going to get some good sleep. Um, so here I am just building my way up. My patellar tendon is feeling a little tingly on these sets. Like it's a little, I'm a little nervous to go down fast, you know, and really take advantage of the stretch reflex. So that could also be a reason why I'm not feeling so confident with my range of motion. Um, and also a reason why, you know, because of that, it might have felt a little heavier than it actually was, you know. Um, so I'll work on that. Maybe just expose it to a little bit more, you know, faster movements, like graded exposure to speed specifically. Because um, when I was sprinting, I had that. Now that I'm not really sprinting and I'm focusing on general strength, um, I'm not getting so much of that. So maybe exposing it a little bit by doing some, just some bouncing drills, maybe like a knee over toe Hindu squat, like, but just like going really fast in and out of the hole. Uh, of course, being careful not to injure, but you know, I feel like with the level that I'm at right now, with my knee over toe abilities, that's something that I could do pretty easily um, without injuring myself. So maybe I'll look into incorporating some of those. But like I said, pretty good day. The squats were feeling good. Went up on bench to 165, which was great. And I could definitely feel the difference from 160. I'm not going to lie to you. It wasn't easy. But I'm still not at that point where that last eight, that eighth rep is like, oh my god. You know, and then I remember, okay, I'm doing eight reps, so there is metabolic fatigue coming in at the end. Taking good rest between these sets. That's one thing, guys. I mean, take rest between your sets if you're doing strength training. Hypertrophy training is another story, but if you're going for strength, like, don't feel ashamed that you're sitting around for, like, three, four, maybe even five minutes between your sets. Squats are one of those exercises for me that I need to take at least five minutes between my sets to really push out that next one. Um, deadlifts, I can take about four, which is interesting to me because I feel like I exert myself harder on a deadlift, but I recover faster. But squats, man, they just, squats and chin-ups, I take five minutes between. They just really train me. Rows, I don't need to take much time. Bench, today I took four minutes because I went up, but usually take only three, three and a half. Um, overhead press, same thing, three, three and a half. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other movements that I do. RDLs, I take about three, three and a half. Um, so, yeah. Rest as long as you need to between your sets. The goal, obviously, just so that you don't have a crazy long workout, is to cut that rest down to, I mean, minimum, I mean, like minimum, like don't go below this, it's three minutes, you know? Um, but like I said, like some exercises for you, you might just need longer. So I take five minutes on my squats and I'm not ashamed. I'm not even trying to cut that down to three minutes. You know, but if you're, if you're taking like six, seven, eight minutes rest between your sets, you know, you got to evaluate like, okay, how can I maybe get this rest down to five? You know, like I would stick to that three to five range. I don't think you need more than that, you know, but some, I mean, there are certain cases of course, but if you're just a casual gym goer, I really don't feel like you need more than five minutes of rest between your strength training. Um, of course, if you're like a professional or an elite level athlete, um, then there are certain circumstances where you would rest for a longer period of time. I remember one time that I was in my, I was at BU and I was sprinting and um, the sprint head pretty much had us rest 10 minutes in between our reps and then he had us run a 250 tempo. And that was a crazy, that was probably the longest amount of rest I've ever taken in an exercise session was 10 minutes. But let me tell you, it really made the difference because I started that 250 meter out, out of the blocks and it was a, I felt crazy fresh. And that's exactly how you wanna feel when you're strength training is you wanna feel fresh, you know? Because you wanna get quality reps out of whatever you're doing. So that's my little rant for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Growth Every Day, day 23. I appreciate every single one of you, all the support that's coming in. I really, really, really am enjoying this. Um, but yeah, I'm hopefully going to be out with a short soon, uh, hopefully tomorrow, actually. 
and uh, I'll talk to you guys then. Have a good one, guys. Like, subscribe, share, and everything. Signing off.